How's it going, everybody? Hey, welcome here to your daily tarot card reading. This is going to be for Tuesday, October 12th. My name is Robin. The deck I'm using is the Starman Tarot. And just so you guys know, this is the first time that I'm using this deck. And I'm going to start shuffling it. Um, and I wanted to really take this opportunity to thank each and every one of you who... Um, helped me out replacing my damaged decks okay so the starman tarot uh really had oh man it is just crumbling okay so i was able to replace that deck and here it is thank you so much i was able to thank some of you directly but some of you guys had your email address hidden in your payment method so i wasn't able to thank you back okay so here's my very public and deeply felt loving thank you to you guys so let's crack on with your reading this is going to be a general reading um for all zodiac signs so uh yeah let me just hold on guys Okay, so what's your first card? It's going to be like the first card you consider that to be the highest energy of the day, right? And you guys have no idea how good this deck feels in my hands after Starman Tarot was peeling away. Okay, so we have the Six of Pentacles here. So um, this card always resonates with the energy of reciprocity. What goes around comes around. Um like, can you sit back and expect to get things from the uni from the university, <laughs> from the universe, or for other people? If you're just sitting there, like, I don't know, like a toad. Uh, the word I got was a blamanche. I think that's a big pudding. Somebody can correct me. I know there's a, a ton of you watching from the UK, so you can let me know down below in the comments. Um, but there's also a little bit of a, a lurking presence here. So what I'm seeing is you guys could be second guessing yourself a little bit. Okay, so here's you. You're ready to open up to the world. Here's your spirit guides and all their weird, fantastic isms. But then there's this. It's like how you're kind of really second guessing yourself. And I just saw angel number 222. Can you guys remind me if I looked up and saw that yesterday at the exact same time because I think that's super cool okay so we've got the six of pentacles it's like you want to give back but something is holding you back like what is that let's clarify out this card before I pull anything else okay obviously I'm going to pull a card but I want it to be specifically related to this six of pentacles You've got the King of Swords here. It's like you guys are analyzing something to death, okay? And that just does no good. Uh, I mean, it's good in some situations, like if you're reading a contract or something like that. Um, I mean, that's fine. But sometimes your impulses are really, really good for you. You've got the King of Swords here, and he's got this eagle eye. You know, he can come off as a little bit cold and suspicious, and you can consider that to be this upside down sort of lurking other half of yourself, you know, and it's just kind of looking in and saying, are you sure that's what you want to do? All right. So the King of Swords, thank you very much for coming in, providing a little bit of an um, insight for you. But I really see where this is going to be time for you to follow your heart because you're not going to get anything back from anybody or anything or from the world or the universe or from karma if you're just sitting on your hands waiting for everything to come in it just doesn't work like that so remember your generosity here you guys and stop i mean for me it's better to get shot down trying than to just sit on the sidelines like thinking what if and then 10 years roll by and like I really wish I would have done something about that. So this is your perfect opportunity to drop your fear. What are you so afraid of right now? Okay, so let me just put those cards down and I'll pull a couple more. Um, yeah, so you're being guided definitely today to go for it because there's something that wants to come in for you and your excitement about it and your willingness to reciprocate, and it doesn't have to be in exactly the same fashion. It can just be your energy of going for it, you know, your energy of putting love into something, and that gets returned, okay? So let's have another card here for you guys. All right, so 
this is a tough call for you guys, okay? So you do have the five of wands and this is waiting for divine and perfect timing. But this is also sort of the underlying thing about why you guys are having such a hard time moving forward. You know, we all have these battle scars that the five of wands are offering us today. And it's not a very good offering. It is too strong of a reminder that maybe your timing was off last time. Um, you know, maybe you were just with the wrong person or the wrong crowd. You were in the wrong environment. Maybe you weren't ready. Somebody else wasn't ready. The universe wasn't ready. But you're always being reminded to try again with the Six of Pentacles because that's how the energy of the universe works. It's just a continuous flow. And if you stop the flow in your heart, how can you expect it to keep on going back? It like reaches you and you're not letting it in. And it's like this hollow echoing within you, especially when the King of Swords is trying to analyze it. Well, last time you really got hurt. Well, you really made a fool of yourself last time. Thanks, King of Swords. You know, we already have cringy moments and memories. So you don't need to weigh in quite so heavily. Um, take a seat in the gallery. All right, so five of wands could be holding you back today. But what if today's the day? What if this is the right person? Like you really have to go for it, you guys. This is your this is your karmic, like cosmic starting gun, okay? It's time to go for it. Okay, so I really hope you guys enjoyed this reading today. I, can, I am having a hard time seeing, <laughs> quite frankly. So anyway, remember to subscribe to Aries Fire Tarot, you guys. I do come back for you at, um, I was looking up time zones yesterday. And as you guys know, uh, I'm not super good at math and I was getting confused. But it's Central Standard Time. Uh, anyway, um, 12.30 p.m. You guys should get reminders if you hit the notification bell. So do me a favor <laughs> so that I don't have to do math for you guys ever again. And we'll see you back here tomorrow for another daily tarot card reading. All right, guys. Take care. Bye.